up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i am doing my september tbr and i am so excited for september i'm so excited for fall for some cooler weather for some pumpkin spice anything pumpkin i'm just so excited even though i'm not in school anymore i've always associated september and like back to school to like a fresh start and like a new beginning and i'm always super motivated in september to like get some stuff done and you know do a lot of things so like I said, I'm just really excited for September. I'm be I've been getting back into reading mood as well, which is very exciting for me. In the month of September, there's also the Book of Baton going on, hosted by Becca and the Books, which I am so excited about. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video. But without further ado, let's get started. So for the month of September, I am doing a back to school theme. Um, it's not super original, but I realized I had a few books that I wanted to read that was like surrounding school and that had like school setting. So I just, I thought it would be the perfect month to read them. And I'm very excited for pretty much all of these books. So let's get started. So the first book that I want to read is going to be Ace of Spades. And I am so excited for this one. This is a pretty new release and I just keep hearing good things about this book. This is kind of a gossip girl but like spooky and like a thrillery I guess. And I'm so excited. It's a YA thriller and I'm just, I, like I said, I keep hearing good things about it. I don't know too much about it which is how I want it to be because I like going into thrillers like blind. I think it's the best way to do to read those normally so I'm just I'm really excited about this one and like I said I keep hearing good things about it so I just I really wanted to pick it up. The next book that I want to read this month is once again a super hype book here on booktube and it is Fireborn by Rosia Manda. Um, this is a YA fantasy book and I've been so excited to read it. Once again I've only heard good things about this book. Um, this is kind of a um, dragon school basically like a school where you learn to ride dragons like how fun is that and i'm just really excited about it like i said i've heard so many good things about it the second book came out pretty recently so i just i cannot wait to read it next one that i want to read is going to be an adult thriller book and it is the maiden by alex michaeletti i read the silent patient last month in the month of july and it was really good and I really really liked it and this is his newest release and I've heard mostly good things about this book um most of the people that I saw liked this one so I wanted to pick it up this is kind of a dark academia book it's an adult thriller and um, I've been really into like thrillers lately so um I just decided to like embrace my love for thrillers and reading more of them it's gonna be fun like I said it's kind of a dark academia book it's set in university i think it's kind of there's some secret society maybe am i being completely off um this is a thriller so i like going into thrillers pretty blind so i don't know too much about it but i'm really excited about this one so yeah those are the three books that i want to read for my back to school theme very excited for all of them next book that i want to talk to you guys about today is going to be my book club pick for this month and if you guys didn't know i am part of a book club where we read one adult fantasy a month and this month we decided to read jade war by fonda lee i just realized like three out of the four books that i picked this month are red which is very fun i love red it's my favorite color so it's not a problem but i just I just realized that. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the second book in the Green Bone trilogy. And we read the first one a few months ago and we pretty much all really, really enjoyed it, if not loved it. So we wanted to pick up the sequel. I'm just so excited for this one. Most of the people say this is even better than the first one. I really enjoyed the first one. I do have a reading vlog on that one, so I'll post it up above. I thought the like first half of the book was quite slow, but the second half really made up for it. So um, I, in the end, really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four stars. So I'm really excited for this one. I've started it already, to be very honest with you. I read about like 80 pages about in it, and I really liked it. And I don't know why I put it down and never picked it back up. Um, but I'm excited to read it this month and to talk about it. Okay, so these were the books that are on my official TBR. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I will be participating in the Book of Platon. Platon that is hosted by Becca in the books. All throughout the month of September. I was so excited when I saw her announcement video. I will link it down below because there's a ton of information in that video and I'm not going to go 
through everything. I think it's going to be easier for you guys to just go check out her video. And But I participated in her readathon in the month of March. That was a like 48 hour readathon and it was so much fun. So I really, when I when she announced her uh, month long one, I just knew I wanted to participate in it. If you guys didn't know, Book Up Laton Readathon is basically in, is a readathon inspired by Becca's uh, TBR game, which is like a Monopoly um, inspired TBR game, basically. And um, I recreated her I'm trying to hide it because I've already done the rules, but um, I've recreated the uh, board on, in my bullet journal and I've decided that I wanted to vlog all month long for the month of September. Um, one of the things that I loved from her 48 hour readathon is that we didn't get the prompts in advance, we got them as the weekend went by. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing for um, her readathon as well. And I'm going to be doing three rolls with you guys today. And then that's going to be for the first week and a half about. And then at the beginning of, a, of each weekly reading vlog, I'm going to be doing one or two rolls, depending on my reading mood. Let's get started with the roll. Roll number one. Roll number one. Five. Two, three, four, five. As you guys saw from my first wall, I got like people, which is like a girl, people, person, man, anything related to people. And it was perfect because I've decided to pick the maiden for that prompt. It fitted perfectly uh, because I mean, maiden is kind of represents, they, it represents women and girls. So I thought it would be perfect. So that kind of just worked out perfectly. And uh, so that's going to be my first prompt. Oh, another five. One, two, three, four, five TBR games. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Problem number two, I got TBR games, which is basically you have to recreate someone else's TBR game. And so I decided to do Gavin's TBR game because I thought it was the easiest one. I just needed a deck of cards, it was gonna be easier. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm sorry I don't have bigger cards. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit, I think. So I'm gonna link one of his video down below so you guys go, can go check out like how it works and everything. But it's basically pretty easy. You pick one book that you really wanna read and one book that you like wanna read but like not so much right now. And then you flip cards and if you have to say if it's lower or higher, you'll understand when, once I do it. So for the book that I really wanna read this month, it, I chose The Mask of Mirror by M.A. Carrick. This is a Betty Reed with Laura. And so I'm really hoping this wins because we said that we would read it in the uh, first week of September. So I'm really hoping this wins. I'm like praying the gods that I win this this round. And for the book that I kind of don't want to read right now and I'm hoping not to get, I'm going to pick The Viscount Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn. This is the second book in the Bridgerton series. Um, I really want to read this one, but just not right now. It wouldn't be too bad if I got this one, but I'm just hoping I don't. So I zoomed you in because you guys couldn't see a thing, but I am like right here. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So basically it's five cards. I'm not going to give myself a life in this round because I feel like that would be cheating. Um, but I am going to give myself uh, one swap because I feel like that's fair. Um, Okay, so let's get started. Ooh, five. Okay, five is not too bad. I mean, right, there's still quite a bit of lower cards, but I'm gonna say higher. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say higher, higher. Yeah, higher than a five. Okay, ooh, that's good. That's nice and high. The queen, nice and high. I'm gonna say lower than a queen. I mean, it could still be a king, but I'm gonna say lower. 10, that's good. That's pretty high. It's it's still, yeah, okay. That's pretty high, it's good. I'm gonna say lower than a 10 because the odds are that it's gonna be lower than a 10. Okay. Ooh, ace, okay. That basically means that I won because ace is basically the highest and the lowest card in the deck. So, oh my God, I'm so happy. So, okay, so it basically means any cards Next is going to be fine. I'm going to say it's going to be higher than an ace and it is uh, an eight. Okay. Whew. I am so happy. It means that I won and that I can read Mask of Mirrors. I'm, hope I'm hoping the angle is pretty much the same. Um, I think it is. 
But I, I'm really excited because I run my round, so it means that I can read the Mask of Mirror this month. Well, I was gonna read it, but I can fit it in my TBR. Um, I can fit it in for one of my proms. And I'm very excited about this one. It is a buddy read with Laura over at The Reading Mushroom. I'm gonna link her um, channel down below. Go check her out. I really like her videos and content in general. And I'm really excited about this one. It's a adult fantasy. It's um, like a con artist who's trying to trick her way into a noble house, securing her fortune, but obviously things are gonna happen. And I'm really excited about this one. I've heard some really good things. It's a bigger one, so I don't know. I'm really excited. Oh, six, seven, sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, community shelf. So these are my community shelves. I have ten of them. I just stole them from the Discord group. I stole them some, uh, from some other people's um, like uh, games that I saw. So I'm just going to mix them with you guys. Alright, so. I got... Ooh, one world, one word title. That's actually cool. Should I discard this? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so roll number three, I got a community shelf, which means I had to pick a prompt. And so the prompt that I got is a one word title, which once again, it worked out perfectly because I was able to pick up Fireborn for that prompt. I swear to you guys, this is not rigged. Like, I swear to you guys, I just got really, really lucky with my walls. Maybe it means that I'm going to be really unlucky with my next ones. But the first three walls were really, really good to me, so I'm just, I'm really happy about it. So this is going to be the book that I'm going to be fitting for the prompt. Um, because, I mean, Fireborn is one word. So that's pretty much it, guys. These were all the books that I have on my TBR this month. Like I said, I'm going to be vlogging all month long. And I'm going to be doing some roles in those at TBR because it's going to appeal to my mood reader in me, I think. And so yeah, I'm very excited for the month of Jul um, I'm gonna say July. I'm very excited for the month of September. What are you guys planning on reading this month? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night depending on you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I've been trying hard to keep my cool. But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in.